For much of the year, the town of St. Helen in northern Greece is a tranquil place of just 700 people. Like Kyriarchos Patsos, most feel blessed to live here. Kyriarchos is the chief icon bearer in a firewalking festival called the Anastanaria. The ritual revolves around a set of ancient icons that worshipers believe have special powers to purify, heal, and protect. One story claims that a thousand years ago, worshipers rescued the icons from a burning church, escaping miraculously unscathed. Ever since, their descendants have carried the icons into the fire to prove their faith and to seek blessings from St. Constantine. But others view the ritual as sacrilege. People who oppose the tradition dislike the fact that we take the icons along in the fire. That's why they claim the tradition is pagan. To the Metropolitan Bishop of Langadas, the Anastanaria ritual is pagan, a hangover from ancient times when people worship the sun and the moon. He believes Anastanarians are betraying St. Constantine. In this lifetime, he would give them a slap in the face. St. Constantine is a saint, and to think and act that way is an insult. As sunset approaches, worshippers build a bonfire. Inside the shrine, the final ceremony begins, as always, with ancient folk songs played on the lyre. Kyriarchus takes up the sacred icon. The saint and their faith in him is the only protection the Anastanarians will take into the fire. He traverses the hot coals, first from north to south, then a second pass east to west. His steps form a cross, and he appears to feel no pain. One by one, the followers of the saint take the plunge. The ceremony continues until the embers are almost stamped out. Kyriarchos is elated. I feel so joyful. The saints were with us. Science has offered possible explanations for firewalking. One is that perspiration forms a buffer of vapor between skin and coal. But back at the shrine, the faithful need no further explanation. Kyriarchos believes he has secured the blessings of St. Constantine for another year.